Hello. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the installation of the optional ricochet lateral skids on a uh, Kawasaki Terex 2018 model. Um, these just protect the, uh, the rear of the foot wells. Um, there's not a whole lot there to protect except for your passengers. So, like I say, these are an, an optional accessory piece that we offer. Um, so, let's get started on this installation. This is just uh, clamps is how this is going to mount. So, you'll have a... Uh, Three clamps, two of them are going to be marked four, one of them is going to be marked six. The ones that are marked four are going to hang on this tube back here. Now you can see this plastic comes all the way down to the tube. To get these on, all you have to do is just push, and you can push right through that plastic and you can get it hung around the tube. I'm going to do the same thing again. There's two of these. Okay, so those are in place. Now you've got a third clamp here. Now this clamp it's going to run, it's going to mount in this section right here. You'll see that this is kind of boxed in and there's one open spot and that's where this clamp is going to sit. Now this is the exact same installation for both sides. I'm just going to demonstrate the one side in the video. But on the other side there's actually a little heat shield that's kind of in the way to get this clamp in there. You can see the clamp will just fall in on this side. On the other side there's a little bit of a heat shield there. It's super easy to just, you know, uh, just pry slightly bend out of the way in order to get your clamp in and then you can go ahead and bring the heat shield back. No adverse effects there whatsoever. Um, that's just about the only difference between the two sides. Um, like I said, I'd show it, but it's just kind of hard to see. You'll see it when you get there. This side, there's no issue at all. Like I said, that clamp just drops right in and that's really about the only place it can go. Um, like I said, the same side is the exact same way. It just has that heat shield that keeps you from getting it around the tube. So you just kind of have to pry the heat shield out so you can work the clamp in and then you can just push the heat shield back once the clamp's in place and, and you're set. You're good to go. Um, so now we can actually get the plate in, into position and start our hardware. Um, you're going to want to use anti-seize on all of these bolts. You can see you've got the, the two longer bolts and the shorter bolt. The two longer bolts are going to go in the rear mounts via through the longer spacers. This spacer here, there's no hardware mount. That is just a support that's going to butt up against this frame here to give it, you know, just some uh, rigidity, just some uh, support from the backside. And then your uh, short bolt's going to go in this front mount with the slot. So again, the one with the circle, that's not being used for anything. All that circle is is just a, a location for us to weld that spacer on. So there's no hardware in that location at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some anti-seize on the bolts. And I'm probably going to start with the rear ones first. I don't think it really matters, but so this plate you kind of have to snake it into position a little bit. It's actually it's going to fit pretty tight. There you go. And when you get it seated, you'll you'll know it. I'm just going to slide this clamp up, line it with this slot. There we go. Okay, once you get one of the bolts started, you can just let the plate hang. started and that just leaves us one more bolt and slide that clamp up line it up and start the bolt and once you have all three started all you have to do is just tighten it down
this the last one up top here. I'm just going to put an extension on that. Okay, and that's that. That's the, uh, the insta installation of these lateral skids. And like I say, that'll give you good protection for your passengers. You know, nothing can get up and get into this uh, thin plastic footwell come puncturing through or whatnot. Like I say, the other side is the exact same procedure. You just have that heat shield. You're just going to have to get a screwdriver in, pry the heat shield out of the way, put the clamp into position, and then you can push the heat shield back into place. Um, but that's the only difference between the two sides. Other than that, they're identical. So thanks for watching.